All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we are going to be talking about the Hassan versus Tumad drama that unfolded over on Twitter yesterday. And uh, basically this one to me was actually really funny, even though it kind of started off and kind of really based itself on a much more serious topic. I just found it kind of funny that this whole thing even happened in the first place, because if you don't know, Hassan is one of the most popular Twitch streamers right now. He's known for his political commentary, primarily uh, left wing commentary, I should say. And if you don't know, Tumad is known for YouTube videos. Actually, I'm pretty sure he's known primarily for like the whole pranking Zoom classes kind of thing that happened. I'm pretty sure that was kind of like the content that really blew Tumad up. He's more or less kind of like it seems a meme content creator. He kind of just posts like shit posts for the joke of it. But the two actually ended up going back and forward on Twitter over a subject that really I, I thought would have been out of Tumad's, I guess, realm of care, if that makes any sense. I never really thought that I would see uh, Hassan and Tumad going at each other over something so serious. This all kind of reverts back to COVID-19 at the beginning of all of this because the discussion around COVID-19 and the quarantine times and whatnot and new CDC guidance is actually what kind of led to this whole thing happening. I thought it was pretty funny. Simply because, well, you got a YouTuber and a Twitch streamer arguing about this stuff. But anyway, uh, to kind of really, I guess, start everything off here. On December 28th, uh, Hassan made a tweet that had two screenshots, and it makes a pretty generalized comparison between the two, but... The first screenshot is a headline that basically shows the Delta CEO had asked the CDC to cut down the quarantine time needed in order uh, for people to basically go back into society after they've tested positive for COVID-19. And then it shows a screenshot from CNN that announces the new CDC guidelines. If you guys did not hear, the quarantine time has been cut down to five days necessary after testing positive for COVID-19. Which I remember during the beginning of the pandemic, it was like, I think, 14 days or something like that. It was like two weeks, something close to that, uh, that they wanted you to basically quarantine for if you tested positive. Then it got cut down to 10 days, and then now they're down to five days. So basically just drawing the comparison that when a really powerful CEO of a very important business asks the CDC to do this, all of a sudden they do this, right? So... I don't think the Delta CEO is the only one that would not only benefit, but realistically kind of push for something like this. Uh, it seems like this is actually more or less a decision that could be very easily pinned on the idea that this is all for the economy, right? That, you know, the government's basically switching up the guidelines now to protect essential workers and to, like, get people back to work quickly so that there's less harm to the economy, right? That's kind of like the current, I, I don't want to say conspiracy theory, that's like the current, I guess popular take that I'm seeing online from a lot of people. They think that basically the government isn't actually acting in the best interest of the population with such a virus going around, but more or less they're trying to protect like economic numbers and things like that. So people aren't afraid and whatever. So this is kind of where it all starts. And uh, Tumad actually jumps into the comments with Hassan, this is Alex Jones populism level insinuating the Delta CEO through brute force power influence forced the CDC to cut isolation time when the CDC via independent advisory signed off by many epidemiologists had already decided on it to mitigate health worker unavailability. Hassan responded with three points here. One, healthcare worker quarantine time was cut short five days before this decision. Number two, unconventionally, or unconventionally, I should say, the CDC never released the new data that shows it's safe to quarantine for five days, even with the vague guidelines. Number three, not just the Delta CEO, but also governors influenced by commerce. So to throw my personal opinion in here before we really continue with this argument, I do want to say I would not be surprised if, you know, the government basically acted in the interest of private businesses and the ultra-rich in order to basically benefit in some way. That absolutely would not surprise me. I feel like people kind of are ignoring the historical injustices of the government, especially here in the United States. Like, the entire government system here is already for profit. I mean, basically, all of our representatives and congressmen and women are, in some way, shape, or form, purchased through lobbyists. The decisions are basically influenced by massive corporations all the time. 
And it just simply would not surprise me if, you know, Delta CEO and all these governors and, you know, probably other CEOs that just haven't been exposed for it or haven't come out publicly about it or anything, if they all basically came together to ask the CDC these kinds of things in order to benefit themselves, right? It totally would not surprise me if that was the case. Because it honestly fits right in line with the type of things that we've seen from the U.S. government to begin with. And unfortunately, it's getting to this point now where, like, people just don't even have faith in the answer to this whole thing, right? Like, it's gotten to the point where it seems like most people are just like, you know what, COVID's gonna stay, so... And mentally, I, I've kind of already accepted the fact that we're probably just never going to get rid of COVID. I mean, every time that there's a new booster shot or vaccine, there's going to be a new variant that comes around and, you know, it steps over the progress made in some way, shape, or form. It doesn't mean that vaccines are completely ineffective or not useful. But a lot of the cases going on right now are from people who are vaccinated, even though the vaccine statistically does infinitely, well, I should say infinitely, but massively decreases the chance of you getting like a significant infection or like a life-threatening illness or whatever from COVID. So I think it has just kind of gotten to this point, right, where, you know, in 50 years, we're still going to have COVID. Like there's going to be new variants of it and everything. And, and, and I feel like it's gotten to this point where we're kind of going to have to live with it to a certain extent. But anyways, let's go ahead and get back to the tweets here. So I originally thought that this was a meme. I was wrong. Apparently, there's a good deal of people on Twitter who truly think it's Sandy Hook was fake level of conspiracy to repeat what the CDC openly stated. That this new lowering of quarantine requirements is to protect the economy. Now, I will say I kind of disagree a little bit with Tumad on this point simply because, well, I feel like there is still a pretty big difference between saying like, oh, hey, it, the CEOs of major companies and, and governors that want their economies to, you know, thrive and whatnot have basically asked the CDC to make changes to their guidelines. And then all of a sudden those changes were made to the guidelines and people like connect two plus two equals four into their own head there with that. Right. I feel like there's a difference between that and Alex Jones just straight up coming out saying a lot of crazy shit, you know, they're turning the freaking frogs gay with the water and all kinds of different things, right? I don't really think that it's on the same level yet. I mean, if he came out and said some crazy shit, it would be different, but I mean, it really isn't too much of a far-fetched ideal, in my opinion at least. You're doing the same thing the Trump supporters did when they called it a pandemic. They said the CE or the CDC and Fauci were in the pockets of Big Pharma and look where that got us. First to get the vaccines and close to dead last in vaccination rates in the developed world, lol. Yes, it's actually Trump supporters who are in favor of continuing restrictions famously. Just come on the stream if you want to clearly communicate your position rather than posturing with weird Twitter takes. So as of me recording this, uh, Tumad did not go on Hassan's stream and I guess clearly communicate his position rather than posturing with weird Twitter takes. Tumad then actually ended up making a tweet and then deleting it that says, Figures you'd avoid literally anyone who's knowledgeable on politics, but you've got no problem debating too mad Greek XQC and train wrecks, and then you call me the coward in your echo chamber. Respond to what I'm saying instead of begging me to come onto your stream. Now, people started immediately jumping on Too Mad, saying, oh, he dodged, you know, he dodged going on the stream, but honestly, I kind of understand not going on the stream. I mean, essentially, you're kind of just going onto someone's platform where their audience is going to automatically just disagree with you in the first place, and you're pretty much never really going to change a lot of these people's opinions because, I mean, they're fans of Hassan, you know what I'm saying? Even if you do get your point across, or you, no matter how much, I guess, you articulate your point or whatever, it's never going to work, you know what I mean? It's never actually going to benefit you, really, to go onto that stream and say anything. Essentially, at that point, all you're doing is giving Hassan free content and, you know, a free stream out of you. And, I mean, I can understand why Tumad wouldn't want to do that. And also, yeah, Tumad is a YouTuber who uploads basically meme videos. But then he actually replied with a tweet that is still up that says, You can't really be this stupid, LMAO. The comparison I'm making is between Trump supporters suggesting the CDC was compromised by private business and you doing the same. If you can't get that analogy, you should ask your uncle for a new job. Now, I'm just going to say, I, I don't know why people think that, like, this idea that the CDC could be influenced by private business or anything like that. Like, people think that that's just a completely out there fabrication that just isn't possible, it seems like. The purpose of it was, is that given the wave, the extraordinary unprecedented wave of infections that we are experiencing now and will certainly experience more of in the next few weeks... 
that there is the danger that there will be so many people who are being isolated, who are asymptomatic for the full 10 days, that you could have a major negative impact on our ability to keep society running. So the decision was made, although it's not completely risk-free, of saying, let's get that cut in half so that we could have 50%, namely half of the 10 days, and 50% of that time, people can actually be out with a mask in society. And I mean, it just, it doesn't make sense to me because you look at pretty much every facet of government and like I said earlier, right, in plenty of other videos even, pretty much everything in government is bought and paid for. I mean, local officials get bought and paid for and are corrupt. You, pretty much every congressman, women, representative, anything, right? They're all bought and paid for by lobbyists and corporate interests. So the, the idea, I guess, that another branch of the government, the CDC, is on the federal level, to, to think that, like, they, they couldn't be bought and paid for is insane to me, right? Like, we've seen so many different examples of the government being shady and being corrupt and, and being bought in some way through special interests and... It just doesn't make sense to me that people like genuinely believe that out of all of the government branches, the only one that is just not susceptible to corruption would be the CDC. It is definitely a very, very striking coincidence that these things happened the way that they did, right? That, you know, these CEOs and whatnot all come out and they start asking for this to happen. Then suddenly, you know, within a couple days, basically, the CDC changes their guidelines. I'm not here to say one way or another whether or not it was influenced. All I'm saying is the idea that it could have happened being constantly shot down like this doesn't make sense to me because it's very fucking possible. Hassan then replied with, This motherfucker has begged me in the DMs to come on my stream like 10 times and now that I'm asking him to come on, it's all Twitter memes. Once again, I understand why Too Mad would not go on the stream. That's very understandable to me. Um... I don't think it should be really held against too mad that he didn't go on the stream, but the whole conversation was just honestly fucking hilarious to me because, I mean, you got Hassan here who, like, his whole brand slash personality is streaming on Twitch and giving political takes and whatnot, and then you basically have fucking too mad with a profile picture of an Easter Island statue, fucking Squidward's house, you know, as the profile picture here, and they're just arguing about this. At the end of the day, man, uh, if in five, ten years a news article came out exposing that the CDC had a lot of their restrictions changed by private business interest, I would be completely unfazed by that news. Uh, I don't think that it's completely out there for that to happen. In all reality, this wasn't that big of a deal. I just thought it was kind of funny. So with that being said, though, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus Well talking about Hassan versus Tumad and signing out.